Now with the area's certified, most accurate forecast six years in a row, meteorologist Chad Reiflisberger. We're starting the new work week with lots of sunshine and temperatures that should be in the mid-70s this time of the year, but highs for many of us in the upper 60s and lower 70s away from Lake Michigan. Right now, as we look outside in Manitowoc, 65 degrees right along the lake shore, but we have lots of sunshine, so that is certainly nice. And right now in Oshkosh, Dry and sunny at the moment, 70 degrees as you uh, head out here uh, during the uh, mid-afternoon hours. Like I mentioned, right along Lake Michigan shoreline, it is cooler, low to a few upper 60s, 67 in Sturgeon Bay and at Washington Island. But you get away from the lake and bay, and these temperatures are in the low to mid-70s for many areas, 78 right now, one of the warmer spots in Chano. And the real heat is just off to our south and west. Near 80 right now in Omaha and Des Moines. 81 right now in Kansas City. 85 in Wichita. But notice some cooler air. 60s off to the north and west. That's behind a cold front that moves through later on tonight and into Tuesday and gives us a chance for showers, maybe a few storms tomorrow, and then a slightly cooler day for your Wednesday. Right now across our area, we're looking at mostly sunny skies, a beautiful mid to late afternoon across northeastern Wisconsin. I mentioned that cold front now just starting to push into western Wisconsin. Notice a few more clouds and some showers and a few thunderstorms uh, near the Twin Cities just about to push into the western portions of the state extending further to the south into northern Iowa. Like I mentioned this area of uh, activity will start to move in late tonight. But I think tomorrow morning there could be a couple light rain showers across the area with better rain chances. Scattered showers and storms for your Tuesday afternoon. So here's future casts over the next few hours. Things are looking fairly quiet under mostly clear skies. That cold front slowly making its way across the state as we head through the overnight. And by early tomorrow morning, probably a little more cloud cover across the area. It could be an isolated shower or two across the region. But notice as we head into the afternoon, as that front really starts to move through and we get some of that daytime heating, more scattered showers and thunderstorms expected. Maybe a few downpours, but not expecting severe weather for tomorrow. And then as we head into the evening hours on Tuesday, that front then pushes to our east and we lose some of that daytime heating. A lot of that rain will come to an end and then maybe watching for a little fog early Wednesday. But the rest of your Wednesday is looking fairly quiet with some cooler weather highs back into the 60s. Look at this, the 8 to 14 day outlook. So late June into the early portions of July, we finally get into a pattern where we could see above average temperatures across the upper Midwest and Great Lakes, big time heat off to the south and east. Looks like during that time frame, the cooler air will now be pushed off to the west. So we're certainly looking forward to that as it has been an awfully a cool spring and now early June uh, across northeastern Wisconsin. So your forecast for tonight calls for partly cloudy skies, maybe a spotty shower late well off to our north and west. Temperatures for many of us back into the 50s early tomorrow morning. Near 60 on your Tuesday, the rest uh, near the lakeshore, the rest of us will be in the 70s. But there's a chance for scattered showers and storms, especially during the afternoon. The seven-day planner has a high near 68, partly cloudy on Wednesday. 71, a little more sunshine than on Thursday. And then warmer as we head towards the weekend with rain chances both Saturday and on Sunday. For more on the forecast, you can find it on our Facebook page. Just give us a follow. That's WFRB Local 5. And officially, summer starts this week, it right? It does. And after that, you know what happens? Our daylight starts <laughs> so, shrinking. Yeah, yeah someone I'm told sorry. me that today. Yep. All right, thanks, Chad.